Hey guys, it's um, Isabel. I'm not Stargirl anymore. Um, I'm 16 now. And I, I just went on my YouTube page recently and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I haven't made a video in forever. Excuse me. There you go. So I was like, okay, well let me make an update because I looked at some of the comments and they're still coming from like two months ago was my late, my oldest video. I just commented back on people and it was the oldest, the newest one was from two months ago. So I was like, yeah, okay. I should probably update these people who are still watching me if they care. Um, so yeah, I've been through a lot more recently. I don't know. Last time I made a video was ninth grade. The beginning of ninth grade, I believe. I've been through a lot since then. Uh, so I don't know if I told you guys, it's not really important, but like my mom sort of wasn't there for me when I was a kid. She sort of chose drugs over me, and then my dad was never there either. He was smoking weed and drinking. Um, but so then my grandmother and my grandfather were pretty much my mom and my dad. And then so a year and a half ago, my grandfather passed away, and it was really, really rough on me, both emotionally and physically. And I ended up choosing eating as a way to cope and not eating, I guess I should say, and I ended up getting anorexia, and that led to depression, and that led to some other stuff that was just not good, and they ended up going to the hospital for seven weeks. Um, so I missed a lot of school, which didn't help. I ended up getting anxiety, which I never had, or very rarely had throughout my life, which doesn't help my pain, but that's just why I haven't made videos. If, you know, if that's even related. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, related to my pain, everything's been the same. Actually, my pain's gotten worse because I haven't done anything this summer. I volunteered a lot and I pushed myself past the limit a few times and you know, we all know how that gets. Um, but, so everything's been the same or worse. And I ended up going to the doctor in Philadelphia at CHOP. His name's Dr. Sherry. He works, he owns pretty much the ANTS program. He started it and he, I'm surprised a lot of people don't know about the program because it's like 92% of the people who go there get cured. And what it is, is it's intensive physical therapy. So there's both inpatient and outpatient. And uh, he told me I'd be going inpatient. And, um, <laughs> And so I'm waiting for that. He told me the tentative date would be May 31st and it's now August 9th and I haven't gone yet. So yeah, that works wonderfully, doesn't it? I'll just have to miss out on my junior year some. But I don't even care because you know what? It's worth getting rid of the pain. So yeah, everything's been about the same. Um, no, I have, I've only tried one medication for my pain, but that was because it was sort of, my doctor was like, oh, you know what? You need a different depression, anti-depression medicine. And this one's, this one is said to work to help people with fibromyalgia pain. And I was like, doctor, I don't have fibromyalgia pain. She's like, I don't care. We're gonna try it anyway. And I was like, okay. And it didn't help at all. So it was Cymbalta. Hi. It was Cymbalta and it didn't help. So other than that, I haven't tried any medications, but I did physical therapy for, I don't know, six, six, seven, eight months. It was like three days a week and it got my function back up, but my pain was exactly the same. So I could now touch my toes, but I couldn't walk the length of a football field without being in severe pain. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I need to say. Um, oh, also, one thing, okay, so there's a lot, I've been, like, in a depressive mood ever since my grandfather died, which is sort of understandable, but I'm starting to get better. Actually, I've been starting to get better for, like, six months now, but, um, one thing that really helps me, which is kind of weird, is helping others. 
I love to talk to other people who have the same thing, give them advice, talk to them, just let them rant to me and stuff. So my email is, I'll write it down in the description. It's izzyrose18 at aol.com. And if you guys have it, or if someone of your relatives have it, or even if you don't have it, if you have something similar, or if you're just going through a rough time, I love helping people. And honestly, it helps me get my mind off of the pain. So by you talking to me about your problems, you're helping me in a, in a different way. So if you guys want to email me or post something below, uh, you know, I would greatly appreciate that. Because that's one of the things that makes me the happiest in life is being able to be there for others. So post below. I hope all of you are watching this video for good reasons, as in you're helping someone else get through it right now. You don't have it, or the person used to have it, and it's cured. But um, anyway, I love you all, and um, I'll pray for you all too. Okay, so comment below.